Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to teach you how to install um, Windows 7 or any other Windows on your MacBook. Uh, this particular model is a MacBook Pro. Shut up, phone. This is the MacBook Pro i5 model. And so what you're going to need is Windows 7 disk uh, and your Mac OS 10 install DVD that should have came with your uh, Mac. So for what you're going to need to do, just go to Spotlight, type in Boot Camp with a space in between. Enter. Uh, Boot Camp Assistant helps install blah 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 blah. Let me zoom in, zoom in a bit. So we just want to continue. And then here it's basically asking if you have this disc, and if you don't, you could make it. So you're going to have to have uh, extra DVD-Rs laying around or whatever. So I'm just going to check at the bottom because I have the disc. I'll continue and here I'm going to choose my partition um right now I'm going to choose if you want Windows 7 I suggest you choose at least 40 gigabytes so I'll, let's go to 40 gigabytes and then let's partition the drive this will take a couple minutes so I'll just cut it and uh, I'll be right back all right that's all done so now what they're basically saying is your partition has been made as you can see on my desktop I have a new partition called boot camp so what you're going to need to do now is take your Windows 7 disk. I have a 64-bit. So just put that in your uh, super drive. Once you hear it spinning, just click Start Install. And it should reboot to a, uh, a very familiar uh, Windows loading page. So um, yeah, it will just restart itself right here. Alright, it rebooted. Now it should bring me to a uh, black Windows screen saying Windows is loading with a loading bar on the bottom. Uh, there's the black screen and there's me. What's up? Alright, as you guys can see, Windows is loading, so that is a good sign. Windows is loading files, so um, when this is done, I'll be back. So it's just about done. A little more patience loading uh, starting windows so obviously that is a good sign and you have their uh, yellow green blue and uh, red logo of course knowing windows for sure alright blue screen not blue screen of death but blue screen that's prompting you to install windows language to install English of course time and currency format English United States is there English Canadian I don't care I'll just leave it at US Keyboard input method US and hit next and install now. Start up setup is starting, obviously another good sign. Alright, all of this license terms, just click accept and next, unless you want to read it, but I don't know who would want to do that. And then from this screen you want to go to custom and it says Windows cannot be installed to disk zero partition three, which is the bootcamp partition we just made. So what you want to do is over here it would say drive systems advanced so you just click that but I already clicked it and uh, hit format the partition might contain recovery file systems blah 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 just saying anything will be lost everything will be lost on that partition make sure you have this partition highlighted if you have one of these that is the other partition besides this one on your actual MacBook freaking um, uh, hard drive so if you do that your whole OS is gone everything's gone and you're gonna have to reinstall OS 10 and you're gonna lose all your crap so just click OK and then when you said yes just click next and there you go uh, Windows is basically installing right now so we'll be back when it's completely finished so as you can see it's um, going it's at a 27 percent right now but it started off at 0 percent and it was at 0% for maybe like 5 minutes, so if it's at 0% just, oh my god, just leave it be and don't turn it off or else you might F up your computer and uh, just be patient with it. I'll be back. Alright, it just finished um, copying Windows files, expanding Windows files, installing features, installing updates. Now it's completing its installation, so be right back again. Now, it's restarting. Woohoo! Restarting! Yay! Dun dun dun! So it should boot back to Windows 7. Starting Windows. Sick! 
see and the uh, windows logo as you can see mm -hmm. ice cream and you scream we all scream for ice cream very well Man, that super drive is mother fudging loud. Starting services. Very nice. How much? Completing installation. It will restart several times during installation. Completing installation, da 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 be right back. What I discovered is if you keep your uh, Windows 7 disk in, it will prompt you back to a setup and you wouldn't want to set it up again. So what do you do is just hold the power bar, turn it off, which turns it off, um, press the button again, and then hold under the eject button and it'll take off the disk. So let's see if this works. If I uh, turn it on, I hold on to option while it boots up. As you can see, now I could choose from hard drive, which is my Mac or Windows. So let's go to Windows. Hit that arrow. So it's starting up Windows now. Voila, starting Windows. So we're not done quite yet. We just got Windows installed. So I believe now we're gonna have to install like a shitload of updates. And it's gonna reboot again. And there's gonna be no drivers. So what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to take your Mac OS X install disk, this one right here, put uh, pop it in and run the setup.exe so it can install the drives and it should uh, bring up with this bootcamp installer uh, window. Setup is preparing your computer for first use, so it's probably going to ask like your basic questions as you, um, as it's just like the questions uh, and uh, things you're going to need to type in as you, uh, for example, just bought a new uh, Windows 7 PC. Alright, type a username Carlos PC. Next, type a password. Make sure, actually, I recommend you typing in your password slowly because you might mess up while typing them in. Because I've done that before and I had to reinstall Windows again because I couldn't get in. Um, uh, Alright, next. Oh shit. So it asked for a product key and I didn't put anything in my, uh, as... I didn't type anything in the product key, so what I did is I just clicked next, so I'm sure it should work. And now, uh, after that, I just put in my, uh, my mount, uh, my time, my, yeah, my local time and everything, and just keep clicking next. The, the instructions are pretty basic, so that's why I just kind of cut them off. There weren't really, um, anything imp important or, uh, crucial that your, uh, computer might break. And now it's, uh, preparing my desktop. So here we are, Windows. Um, there's nothing you could really do here because obviously you can't use Internet Explorer because there's no driver. So, a driver for Wi-Fi that is. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to take your disk, Mac OS X disk, pop it in. And then it's going to come up with a um, typical autoplay right here. Run setup.exe. And click yes. So what this will do is install all your drivers. So it'll make your webcam work, your uh, the commands on your keyboard, I think, and uh, your Wi-Fi most importantly. So let us do its thing. All right, we're prompted here. Welcome to the bootcamp installer. You will be guided through the steps necessary to install bootcamp to get started. Click next. This is basically like um, the process of any other installation. Um, accept as usual. Next, uh, Apple software update for Windows. Sure, install. Preparing to install, and you have your status bar again. And when it's done installing, it should prompt you again to reboot. Patience is a virtue, so there's a lot of rebooting. 
here it's showing that it's uh, updating the driver for the Apple keyboard and uh, Apple anything basically that uh, the hardware parts so it will work perfectly with Windows 7. So it's just about finished and wrapping up here now. It installed like a crap load of things. It said stuff from mouse to trackpad to webcam to keyboard. Alright, status moving files, Apple OS switching, blah blah blah. Oh, there we go. Installing driver, device, blah blah blah. That's a good sign. Bootcamp has been successfully installed on your computer. Click finish to quit this installer. You must re restart your system for the configuration changes made to Bootcamp. So also, and yeah, blah blah blah. So if you hit yes, it'll reboot. And then once it starts booting up again, again you hold on to option on your keyboard. And then choose from your Mac or PC. And from that, um, the resolution should be back to normal. So it turned off. Turning on, hold on option. Holding on option. Alright, alright, let's go boot to Windows. Starting Windows. There you go, as you guys can see, the cursor is now normal size. Bong bong, skit skit. Heel, heel, heel. And here we go. Let's put in my password. And if that did not work, then I'm screwed. <laughs> I'll have to delete the partition and redo everything again, which took like 45 minutes. And now, if I did it on my computer, I'm gonna have to do it on my dad's computer over there, because he wants it too. And also, with that one, the funny thing is, there was a 250 gigabyte hard drive in there. We found a 500 gigabyte hard drive for only $50. I cloned the hard drive, and then I just swapped it. Easy. Alright, so we're in Windows uh, XP, or no, Vista, no, no, 7, yee! Uh, what's this, help on boot camp? I do not need that right now. X that. Alright, so by the looks of it, everything is running smoothly. As you guys could hear and see, sound is definitely working. Let's open up the Internet Explorer. Oh wait, oh, let me connect to my uh, Wi-Fi first. And all those are all the Wi-Fi uh, wi networks available. So yeah, everything's working smoothly, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this little um, tutorial. I don't know how long it's going to be. I still have to edit it. So yeah, peace! Also, me and my friends, we have sort of a little YouTube thing going on. So... It's another channel called Not So Flip Productions. Go here to the annotation to subscribe. Peace. <laughs>